Hello and welcome to this tutorial. The purpose of uh, this tutorial is to uh, explain the method to define the periodicity in the CFX. There are the my four tutorials on the YouTube and uh, they cover the setting up the periodic boundary conditions in the ICM CFD in the fluent is there there are four parts so I am adding this part to uh, address the same issue in the in the CFX so this is the bas basically I have taken the the problem of the pipe flow and the same pipe flow uh, is solved in the one of the my courses online courses on the Udemy and uh, in this in this course if I show you the geometry is uh, defined as by the diameter equal to the point 2 meters and length is equal to 8 meters and uh, in this case the problem is solved as a full cylinder uh, as a 360 degree cylinder so here we, we will solve this problem as a 45 degree sector so on the two sides we will apply the on these two sides we will apply the periodic condition so the this this will basically reduce the solution time and we can refine the mesh in the necessary area without uh, making the more load on the your computational resources although this will not make any difference because it's a very small problem so making a periodicity or the sector cut and solve it will make not will will make not any difference on the uh, your computational resources because nowadays we normally have the uh, 8 to 16 GB RAM in the laptop so it will make make not any difference but uh, the purpose here is to explain the method to that how we can define the uh, this product model in the CFX and if you look at the course this course uh, is designed to be an introduction to ANSYS uh, ICM CFD hexa but we are also including the the CFX portion as well so right now uh, we have the two sections ICM CFD and the problem setup in the CFX pre where you can see the some there are some free previews so if you look at the previews you can see that the, we have uh, covered a lot of things in the uh, in this workshop or in this course so the the same problem is basically is covered in the in this course for example here we are showing that how you can output the mesh file etc so this is the whole problem setup in the icm cfd and the cfx so the same problem uh, is uh, you can see here it's just full cylinder and in this case we don't need to worry about setting up the periodic boundary conditions also we have the expression for density and the viscosity the same settings we have applied on this problem where we have the 45 degree sector so this is a mesh in the ICM CFD hexa mesh and uh, here is the problem in the CFX pre. So if I if I uh, look at the geometry, so I can see we have the two periodic condition on the two sides of the cylinder. And uh, here I have already set the boundary condition for the inlet. Also, I I have already set the density and the viscosity. Uh, basically, I I exported the these expressions from the my previous file and just implemented them here so material properties are also defined and uh, let me show you so I just want to make a uh, few settings here so the fluid model is none and the turbulence should be the laminar and uh, my fluid one is defined so I just need to make it 
make sure that this it should be the fluid workshop one which is defined by the my own specified density and the viscosity so okay so the only thing here is to define the periodic boundary conditions right so right click on the interfaces insert domain interface so i will call this one as a periodic conditions so or just periodic and uh, in the in the first interface side one select the periodic one and on the side number two choose the pr periodic two and uh, this is the rotational periodicity and because we have the 100% uh, node match on the both sides so we can use the rotational periodicity and also you can use uh, if you want you can use the uh, uh, general connection as well but for this problem particularly uh, you must be using the rotational periodicity okay uh, also uh, let me select the axis of the problem so so when when you define the uh, periodicity condition uh, here you must choose the global y because uh, the flow the the axis along the center line is basically the y axis so click on okay and okay so we have the product side 1 side 2 and here we have the inlet and the outlet so now everything is set now I will just export the file and solve the case so now CFX solver is uh, is uh, running the case Okay, the solution is done now you can post process although uh, a number of iterations are complete but it it has attained the convergence criteria of the 10 power minus 6 so here we have the results and if you plot the the control plot on the on the cylinder its wall Okay, now we can also define the uh, instance instance transform to uh, make the whole cylinder. Just for the visual purpose, the solution is only for the 45 degree sector. So let me insert the uh, ins instance transform, and here I will define the rotation and it's along the y-axis, and I want to make the eight rotations okay so I will just go to the contour plot and from here I will be choosing the instance transform one okay uh, again let me modify the instance transform one and uh, for the for the 45 uh, sorry for the 45 degree sector this should be the 360 divided by the 45 this should be the 8 okay okay let me define this one as a 12 let's okay so it means that the the sector cut is basically is a uh, is not a uh, 45 degrees but it's a 30 30 degrees so if I if I make this a 8 yes it's a 12 so in this way I can see the 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 results on the whole cylinder if I if I measure the pressure at the outlet so it should be the should be equal to the zero because the condition we specified is a zero so let me let me see that the at the inlet and the, at the outlet the pressure condition is 
so I will choose the area average and this is the, the variable is the pressure and at the inlet so it's a 13.55 and if I if I look at the look at the results of the the full cylinder you will see that the uh, this full cylinder for the coarse mesh the pressure drop is 9.639 and uh, if I look for the results the dp by dx is equal to 13.45 okay so this is for the for the full cylinder so for the full cylinder is 13.45 and here we are getting the value as a 13.55 so it's a almost uh, is a close result so it means that the we can solve this problem with uh, with the product condition just apply the product condition and only model the uh, one portion of the cylinder and you can get the same results. Thank you.